New Counter-Strike Operation, Keychains, Clothing, New Maps, Pets, Future Valve Games in the Half-Life Universe and much more. Hey everyone, Max at the microphone again. I haven't had access to my workplace for a month and have been using Steam Deck as my main PC. And I'm actively researching the next Valve game which everyone seems to be talking about but I shouldn't be talking about. So today is only about CS and until a big update comes out, run to exchange skins on Skins Monkey. Use code GABEN and get up to a $5 bonus, select a few of your current skins, pick a new one in the same price range and exchange your old and ugly CSGO items to something new and shiny from Counter-Strike 2. Use code GABEN and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top up bonus. Skins Monkey, links and my code down below. A thousand days have passed since the last operation. Just the other day, a major blast tournament ended in London, and on June 19, the Counter-Strike franchise turns 25 years old. If we go back to 2019, we'll find out that for the previous 20th anniversary, the developers announced a contest for skin creators. And it would be a little silly to forget about another important date. Since the release, there have been constant hints of future in-game content, and now is the perfect time for a major update. Let's discuss everything one by one. The first operation in CS2. The most obvious hint are the comics, the first mentions of which appeared almost half a year ago. Despite the fact that three years have passed since since the last operation, the last official comic was released 8 years ago, at the end of which it is quite clearly said to be continued. And in one of the recent updates, the developers added a license to use a Google font called Bangers. I think that without any doubts, this font won't fit anywhere except comics. The second important point is constantly checking what map makers do. They are one of the few people in the community who actually know about future updates as the developers contact them in advance with a request for quick fixes on the maps. Additionally, the map makers themselves do not particularly hide this info. So look for Terra Memento, Assembly, Pool Day and Meals. Also in one of the updates, a new model with a chair from some barbershop appeared in the folder for dust, so I think they will also add short dust. They also updated the textures of cobblestone, but I'm not sure if it's ready yet. In addition, Aqua once again confirmed that devs were collecting a new case with skins and it seems to me that they will add a new twin blade knife in it. So there's a whole bunch of content here, make your own conclusions. The second major find is a huge number of new lines associated with keychains. I already released a video about this in February, but then there were only hints from the developers and old strings when now absolutely new info has appeared from the DLL file, which is responsible for the tool called Model Doc. In a nutshell, this tool is used to import pre-made 3D objects from Blender into Source 2 and then configure materials and attachments. The new parameter is responsible for adding keychains that can move and shake independently of the weapon, and settings for normal interaction of two collisions. Just in case, another reminder that the first keychain leaks appeared back in 2017. Then we learned the names of six potential keychains, AK-47, Banana, Bloodhound, Grenade, Plasma Ball and Sugar Skull. Along with new animations for chickens, extremely strange animation sequences appeared basically picking up and squeezing chickens in hands. They are made both for preview in the inventory and during the game. The best concept was created by a guy nicknamed Pop Wow. If someone is not aware, since the release of Counter-Strike 2, mentions of some object called pet have regularly appeared in the game files, and the chicken was its placeholder. If we try to analyze everything found, then apparently this is some kind of new cosmetic item. Whether it will literally be pets running after you or something completely different is not yet known. But it is interesting that the chicken has a lot of animations related to movement, so it will be fun to see some new game modes where people will play for chickens. In my videos we have touched the topic of clothing or some kind of character customization multiple times. One of the main arguments, in addition to leaks in the files, was the demonstration of cosmetic clothing elements on the early concepts of CSGO and the addition of customization in Counter-Strike Online 2, from where the developers of the official CS quite often borrowed ideas. Previously, we knew about 11 potential slots including recently found pets, but now, for the first time in a year, a 12th has appeared. Loadout, slot, clothing, custom head. But at the same time, it took the place of another slot for pets. And either we will now put chickens on our heads, or there will be an opportunity to choose a head for agents. Which of these is better? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of heads, new mentions for the hair shader have appeared, which I talked about in previous videos. 
And the biggest find in this update is the new hair system. Three suspicious materials related to hair have appeared in the core pack of the engine, but they don't have the necessary textures and shaders yet. In Half-Life Alex, all hair materials use the standard VR complex dot VFX shader, so apparently Valve developers are working on a separate PBR, possibly filament shader and hair materials for Source 2 games, not necessarily for CS2. Most likely the CS post fix means compute shader, which means that this shader is calculated on the GPU or video card for better optimization. Based on this, hair processing material related to complex math calculations such as dynamic hair hair simulation, their physical interaction with the character and environment during player movement or under the influence of wind or other situations. Hair render volume, material related to volume rendering for simulating thousands of individual hairs at once without additional performance costs. Hair shading, the material needed to correctly calculate the interaction of hair with light and shadows. For example, refraction of light, soft scattering through thin hair or natural shine from the sun. There was also a mention of a new technology for procedural speech and mouth animations. It is called Speech Graphics and has this icon in the tools. Literally on the first page in Google, it shows a website of this company with a suspiciously similar logo. There once was a ship that put to sea, the name of the ship was the Billy of Tea. The winds blew up her bow, dip down, oh blow my bully boys blow. Ha! Soon may in a nutshell, they provide a ready solution for the facial expressions of the characters that will mimic and repeat received sounds. A good example of this technology can be seen in the recent Hogwarts Legacy and many other games. Either the developers of Counter-Strike decided to bother so much with realistic hair and facial expressions of agents as they recently did with their eyes, or it will be used in future single-player Valve games. Especially considering that they have updated their own face poser tool for the first time in a few years. Years. Speaking of this, there have been a huge number of mentions of the new behavior for some non-playable characters, NPCs, in particular special behavior during a gunfight with a player or each other. In theory, this can be used both in future operation missions and in another Valve game. But judging by the large number of mentions of characters and creatures from Half-Life, like the Blobulator, Combine and Zombie Gorilla, which was mentioned in the VR game, I still lean towards future games. It is important to note that the developers continue to actively work on improving the anti-cheat and optimizing the game. I can't single out anything specific, but they definitely started to collect more information about the players, their hardware and behavior. So in the near future we can expect a wave of whack bands and improved optimization. Leave a comment with chicken emoji if you watched this far and be sure to check out the previous video where I talk about how you can play CSGO again with full matchmaking.